hi guys how are you doing so this is an emergency uh, video for all those who are in Canada and all those who want to come to Canada so we are now going into the second phase of the lockdown which is going to be it's starting from today that is Saturday and going into um, till January 20th now that's not uh, the news every every country is under lockdown so that's not the news uh, okay before uh, anything you will be watching a lot of my bedroom because there is no other place for us to go now so i am really stuck in my bedroom in front of my computer in front of my tv and this is the view we're going to get for the next few uh, videos unless i decide to go to niagara for the lights to see some beautiful lights over oh, there, of course, coming from India and <laughs> in the land of lights, I don't think I'll be very impressed. But uh, I don't know how much I'll be impressed with those lighting. But anyway, uh, so like uh, I shouldn't be negative. Like people keep telling me I'm so negative. I'm not. So neg I'm, not I'm not negative. I'm just trying to be corny. That's it. Okay. So uh, what I was saying is that we are going into lockdown from today. That is Saturday until January 20th. Okay, so that's not news because most countries in the world are going into lockdown. What is news is if you flout the lockdown, if you do not, uh, like if you, uh, the, um, okay, let's tell me, let me tell you the, the rules. Uh, they're restricting indoor organized public events and social gatherings except for members of the same household so nobody else from your apart from your own family can get into your house during this lockdown period so you cannot even invite one person okay so let me change the glasses this is shining a lot uh, you cannot even invite one family if you think you, you're inviting one family and you're okay with it no you're not you're not okay with it you will be held responsible and uh, prohibiting in-person shopping in most retail settings that means curbside pickup and delivery can continue so there's no shopping during this period discount so boxing sale goes for a toss okay restricted indoor access to shopping malls again patrons are can only go to a designated uh, indoor pick pickup area and uh, physical distancing blah 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 and shopping malls were also established, outdoor designated pickup areas. So that's it. And restaurant bars and whatever. So there's a huge, um, we cannot go uh, outside. Nobody can come in. And nobody either, uh, there is no gathering allowed inside or outside. Um, outside, I think there's, I mean, gathering is not allowed for more than five people. So that is also not the news. So what is the news? The news is, if you violate this emergency order, you can be charged with a fine of spot fine of seven hundred and fifty dollars. This is the beginning, right away. And anybody who obstructs can be fined up to a thousand dollars. This gets better. A person who violates an emergency order could also be issued a summon and determined penalty op upon conviction could uh, be fined up to one hundred thousand dollars and one year of jail time so guys those were planning to sneak up for a party think again and this is not just you know the stock in the air they mean the business they mean business because why i think is because Canadian government have, have been given us $2,000 every, uh, every individual during this crisis period. So people, they've been th Canadian government have been throwing away money to people like during this period to stay in the good books. Justin Trudeau government has been throwing away money and uh, people have been enjoying the benefits. Now you have to face the consequences. This is how the money is going to be somehow like caught back if you flout you are paying back that money 
not only that money you're paying back all your friends and relatives and your associates and your workers co-workers whoever has got the two thousand dollars you're paying it all back for them so how do you like that idea okay fines could uh corporations okay the province has also set up a mean minimum of ten thousand dollar fine for guests hosts and organizers of parties violating the gathering law and laws i know of a person i know of a person who knows a person in montreal who's who's got a forty thousand dollar fine for um calling two or three families for the christmas occasion She's a Bengali also, like me. I mean, I don't want to say a Bengali. Okay, let's go back to that. She's just a Canadian. <clears throat> and she's got this $40,000 fine. And she's planning to sell off her house. Because she doesn't have that money to pay. Nobody has $40,000 in their banks. It's we, Nobody's that rich in Canada. I mean, yes, people are rich. But then $40,000... And each family who came to visit them would charge $25,000. This is an insane thing that is going on in Canada. This is an insane, insane fine. And why? Because, yes, the confirmed cases in Canada has risen suddenly to... I think they have risen by some 4,000 just a minute. Let me go back to this. Mm. Um, 4,301 new cases in two days as province-wide lockdown begins. So suddenly there is a rise of 4,301 new cases in, in, uh, in Ontario itself. So Ontario has uh, slapped this kind of fine, this kind of insane fine for you everybody to uh, you know like uh, everybody to understand and uh, obviously you will need to be very serious about it because when you are fined you're fined you they don't see how much you can afford or whether you have the money in your account or not you are fined and you're you are pay payback through your entire life so uh, canadian fines are huge there's a there's a there's a proverb in Bengali. I don't know whether uh, many of you will know it. How many of you are Bengali on my uh, viewers list? It's, it's, it says, Hate na mere bhate mara. So which means you don't hit a person with your hand. You hit a person through its, his stomach. So you, you find a person so much that they even stop eating. They, they have to starve themselves to death. They don't have a house. They don't have... Uh, anything to live on they won't they will be struggling for the rest of their lives to pay back that fine so that is what Ontario government is absolutely chalked out so best is not to go for so and they mean business nobody is going to be you know like you cannot bribe the official officials out of it no you cannot do anything like that out here so everybody means business fine is a fine and uh, so Best is to stay away from all this till January 20th since we've already worn this labor of uh, labor for such a long time. This pain of labor, childbirth pain of COVID-19 for such a long time. We might as well suffer till January 20th uh, until the lockdown gets over and then you can have your parties. You can just have a little, you know, um, postponed parties. That's what I, I would suggest for all Canadians and all for all Canadians coming to Canada, thinking of coming to Canada. Please note this. You cannot get away with anything over here. Okay. Have fun, guys. Keep watching my videos. Like them. Share, comment, whatever.